So the most shocking fact about uh, gel stones is that a tiny minuscule stone offered uh, no bigger than, uh, you know, just a pier can trigger one of the most agonizingly painful and life-threatening medical emergency. Yes, acute pancreatitis. The gall bladder and the pancreas share a common drainage pathway into the small intestine, like, like this, huh? called the ampulla of water. A small gall stone can pass out of the gall bladder, travel down the common bile duct, and get stick right at the critical junction like a cork in a bottle. This blockage prevents the powerful digestive enzyme produced by the pancreas from flowing out. Flowing out. Instead, the enzymes block up into the pancreas, becomes prematurely activated and trigger a catastrophic chain reaction known as a autodigestion. The pancreas literally begins to digest itself. This is not just a theoretical concept. It's the leading cause. It's the leading cause of pancreatitis worldwide. So it's a profound example how a very small, seemingly nothing at all, a minor anatom anatomical problem can lead to the systemic, life-threatening crisis, crisis, the pain of severe pancreatitis is often described at 10 out of time, and the resulting systemic inflammation can lead to multi-organ damage. So the wrong, wrong organ suffers. The problem originates in the gallbladder, but the organ that uh, gets destroyed is the pancreas. This is a crucial concept, is understand, in understanding uh, referred pain and the interconnectedness uh, of our anatomy. It changed the diagnosis. A patient might present with the seems like a simple gallbladder attack, bilary colic. But if their pain becomes constant, severe, radiates to the back, and their lipase levels are elevated, the diagnosis immediately shifts to much more dangerous acute pancreatitis. Stay blessed. That's why we have to drainage our gall bladder every morning. Don't forget about breakfast. Okay? Okay. Normal breakfast, not just coffee. Eh? With two eggs, for example. Stay blessed.